What's your name, by the way? Uh, Abdul. Abdul, nice yeah. to meet you. So what do you not like about your hair? I find it really hard to maintain it, keep okay. the curls like moisturized and stuff. Okay. I'm trying to keep the curl length, okay. uh, definitely get the sides a little bit down. Do you want to go for like a fade, taper? What are you thinking? Drop fade, maybe? Like, drop fade, that's exactly it. You have the head shape for it. So it's funny because basically whenever I do these haircuts, I do them every week, uh, the free haircuts, I have people submit pictures of their hair. So he submitted a picture of his hair, a couple pictures, and immediately I was thinking, drop fade, no lineup. After the consultation, he even told me he doesn't want to line up. Mind you, I didn't tell him that at all. And I was like, yo, you read my mind. This haircut will fit you perfect. So we're gonna trim the curls, drop fade, C cup, no lineup. It's amazing when a client just reads your mind like that. It's amazing. So notice how I'm trimming the curls. I'm not gonna lie. This is the hardest thing to cut with scissors type of hair, in my opinion, curly hair, because you don't want to like cut your fingers and the hair is so curly. Like notice how I'm like picking it out. You're going to have to do a lot of cross checking with this because personally, I'm not sectioning curly hair unless it's long, but this type of length and he's just getting the top trimmed. I'm not sectioning it. I'm going to just do a whole lot of cross checking. And then I just leave the perimeter for right when, before we start the fade. So this is the perimeter. So we're gonna cut this kind of in between his curl length and like when his hair lays down so that it'll transition from short hair to long hair seamlessly. And I'll do, I'll do a little bit of freehand and just a little bit after I like pick out his hair. He was very nervous though. He was very nervous for me to trim his hair. He told me that a lot of barbers usually cut it too short and then it's wavy or it's spiky. He said he was, he was nervous. I call that barber trauma. A lot of, a lot of people have it. You know, the beautiful part about this business and, and a bad part also, you're dealing with people's emotions, their fears, their excitement, you know, their nervousness, anxiousness, you're dealing with all of that. So to blend the fade into the curls before we technically start the balding part, I'm gonna take a three just to debulk everything. And his hair is so curly. It's wavy from the root pretty much. He got the type of hair that, you see how it's spacey and it's patchy when it's short? You wanna know why it's patchy? It's because the hair is trying to clump together to create a curl or a wave. I told you guys in the previous videos, that's, that's how hair operates. When you're dealing with curly hair, wavy hair, it, it tries to clump up and group together to form like a, a a clump. Also, guys, uh, this is my first official announcement of it. I created a Patreon. So a lot of my banger haircuts, like the ones I really like, the full extended version will be on Patreon. I'll be breaking it down in detail if you guys really wanna learn how to do these haircuts or if you just wanna see some bonus content, there's gonna be some other stuff on there also. Um, lots of bonus stuff. A lot, a lot of stuff with giveaways too, so. I'm not trying to bait you guys, but I'm just letting y'all know. Like, I do, I do some giveaways here and there, um, but Patreon definitely will they'll have priority access to my giveaways for sure. So it's $15 a month, or you can join for free. I also have free content on there, 
well not yet but there's paid content on there already i have a drake haircut full length it's about 30 minutes and i'm just breaking down a drake cut so go check that out we're gonna do the same thing to this side you guys saw the the fade was seamless And we're going to connect it right in the back. But yeah, this haircut, this haircut just fit this client perfectly. So for the C cups, funny thing about these trimmers, I actually found them in my basement the other day. Um, I was looking for like a do rag and I found these. So I tuned them up real quick and they hit. I'm not gonna lie, they kind of irritated his other side that I just started on. You'll see later on, it's a little red, but I didn't cut them or nothing. It was just a little irritated, but I feel like they're a little too sharp, but five years ago, guys, I bought these things in like 2018. <laughs> That's crazy. And they still hit. I'm gonna just add a, a dash of enhancements. Just a dash. That's it. And we're using the brown color because his hair, his hair is still dark, but it, you know, got that brownish look. So this is one of the most important parts. We're gonna do sheer over comb. This is gonna transition the area little bit better. I'm also gonna point cut. So I don't recommend you guys do this. I'm kind of just point cutting and freehanding with my shears, but I'm not completely resting the comb. I'm at the, the shear on his scalp. I'm more so like floating and cutting. So I'm gonna call this float point cutting. That's what we are gonna call it, float point cutting. And right here, we're, we're establishing the shape better. See how it's clumping up in that area? Looks like a bald spot, but no, it's just the hair clumped together in that area. So it took some hair from the, the from right beside it. That's how hair works, it's beautiful. I'm gonna just do some last minute freehanding. And I'm gonna add some Moroccan curling cream. Funny fact, he's Moroccan. <laughs> it's hilarious, that's so tough, that's cool. Check it out bro. Clean. Like it? Cool. It's yeah. good. So my client was satisfied. I think this came out perfect. This is exactly how I imagined it. So this is how my client came in. And this is how he's leaving. Full cut of this will be on Patreon. It's your boy Four and I'm out. Peace.